all, I want to thank uh, the hybrid communication in this building, especially the organizers, Catherine and Steph. And I want also to uh, thank all uh, uh, people who made it today uh, on this interesting uh, meeting. Uh, so uh, before starting with my presentation, I would like also to uh, highlight that the, the work of uh, Sarah is really interesting. And uh, this is a part of also uh, what we, how we also as piece of art support some of our beneficiaries and students uh, uh, at the end to make peace through art. So first of all, I'm Mahdi Yahya, I'm founder of Peace of Art Organization. Uh, I, I have studied graphic design and advertising, uh, as well as political sciences. I was speaker at the European Parliament uh, du during the International Day of Democracy in Brussels, uh, Belgium. I have been selected as one of seven uh, Arab young change, change makers uh, in Emirates. And there were a small documentary on the LN TV uh, made about uh, about me and my achievement, especially through piece of art. Uh, I would like to start uh, with the presentation uh, right now, speaking more about uh, the organization that I have founded, which is uh, piece of art. So can you see uh, can you see the presentation right now? Um, not yet. Okay. Did you is it open on your screen? If you have it minimized, it won't show. They have a ah, you 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 uh, now I I got uh, okay. Yeah, it's working. Perfect. Okay, Perfect. sorry. Now it's gone. Bring it back. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> okay. Now? Yay. Perfect. Nearly. Yes. Okay. Very good. So first of all, as as you can see from the name, it's it's piece of art. It's something that we that meant really to to use art for peace, and this is basically what we are doing. Uh, so piece of art is an art academy, and at the same time, a humanitarian organization. Um, we have found it with my uh, uh, colleague, uh, Vera Maula, which is also present today. Uh, we, our new strategy is to work on three main topics, which is uh, conclude the, uh, uh, the word art. So A for art, uh, R uh, stand for relief, and T stand for technology. So our mission, uh, Peace of Art has, has started as a local organization organizations, especially in uh, North Africa, uh, in Lebanon, that uses art and culture in place of conflict and violence. We empower groups of young change makers to be future leaders for art and peace building. Our vision is to build a young generation that believes in art, sport, and education as a way to solve community problems and to contribute to establishing an open and tolerant society where young voices engage with each other in the democratic transformation in the region. So where we started, uh, I got here a map. This map is basically distributed by most of em uh, embassies in Lebanon. It's called the red zone. So uh, this map, when distributed to citizens of foreigners, uh, 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 foreign uh, countries in Lebanon, uh, it's more uh, highlighting this region in Lebanon as a red zone to not uh, go or you, you can go there, but on your own. So it's uh, a little bit uh, uh, marginalized and neglected region. Uh, uh, a high level, I would say, of violence, uh, deep divisions between religions and social sects, as also Sarah has, has mentioned. It's also the same uh, problems that also Beirut is facing or any other uh, country about sectarianism and uh, uh, discrimination. So uh, we started Peace of Art in 2016 to create an open sp safe space for use of all backgrounds um, through fine arts programs and civil training. So 
uh, we have started different music classes. Um, like we had too many beneficiaries every year that are benefiting from our programs, uh, as well as different fine art classes. Our beneficiaries are also Lebanese from different religions and backgrounds and political uh, ideas, and also uh, Syrian uh, uh, refugees. We made also technology robotics and programming workshops, photography, filmmaking, theater uh, workshops. And all of them was uh, the, the main goal is for youth to express themselves and to uh, to be able to show their ideas to the world and also to be more open to each other and to collaborate together to create art. And this is what we believe it's the first step to make peace, especially uh, I'm, I'm speaking about the peaceful coexistence in Lebanon. And this is a basic peace, uh, kind of peace that we, uh, we are looking for in Lebanon. We have made uh, also programs for kids, because we believe also that kids are our future generations, that we need to work on them, especially in Lebanon when schools are not working full time, when we have also a, a big inflation, a, a, a huge crisis where also our uh, Lebanese ki kids, especially after a, a Corona pandemic also, uh, they are not uh, having any good access uh, to uh, uh, schools as well also to universities for uh, youngsters so this is where piece of art also come to afford some programs for kids we have founded the first musical band in north Africa, uh, that have gathered youth from different religions backgrounds and nationalities uh, this um, musical band have participated in um, many festivals uh, mainly local and also some international festivals. Uh, we uh, made many civil training, and this is basically what we are doing also. We want that youth are more educated, are more aware about what's happening around them and how they can uh, make uh, their society better uh, through um, leadership programs, through writing proposal, uh, how to finance your project, how to to uh, to make uh, projects, how to also uh, uh, express yourself through uh, different uh, uh, programs. I will be speaking more about our uh, projects and programs. So more than uh, 5,000 beneficiaries, again, Syrian and Lebanese from diff different religions and backgrounds were joining our programs. Uh, so... Our training was about conflict resolution, conflict medi mediation, peace building, citizenship, accountability, human rights, gender equality, fake news, uh, accepting uh, others, combating uh, hate speech, inclusion, governance, and a lot about also leadership skills. I was invited also uh, to speak at the European Parliament about this project and its contribution and the democracy in Lebanon and the, in the uh, region in general, in the Arab region. So uh, I was also uh, highlighting uh, this uh, uh, this experience and uh, this work that we have uh, done since 2016. My colleague Vera also was invited to speak about this program and uh, our, about our project at the UN headquartered in New York. Um, many other conferences like this one in uh, Doha in uh, Qatar and uh, also uh, as you see many forums and dialogue forums uh, preventing violent extremism through sport also we have done some projects uh, with sport uh, we have also uh, created and developed our uh, curriculum in, uh, in art and peace building and we have trained a group of uh, uh, youth leaders uh, from all the Arab world and from all the world there were a lot of people also from outside the Arab world it was in uh, uh, Qatar in 2019 and also during the Empower uh, 2019 uh, conference 
uh, Transforming Education Pre Summit at the UNESCO headquarters in Paris. This year, uh, my colleague, also Vera, president of Peace of Art, have participated in this uh, uh, big event in the headquarters of UNESCO in Paris. And this is following the success of our project that we have done with UNESCO. I will be speaking about it later. Um, we have shared our peace building experience internationally. Uh, like like today also, and we have also write a lot of articles, a lot of references to be used uh, for the next peace builders generation, and for everyone uh, to also benefit from our experience, as well as we have also uh, get more support from different peace builders from all over the world. This is uh, one of our program uh, that was uh, with uh, sport like a program that uses sport as a tool for prevent, preventing violent extremism and building acceptance, acceptance and uh, accepting and resilient communities. It was funded by United Nations Alliances of Civilization. Uh, we rise through art with UNESCO. It was a response to Beirut explosion. It was after the Beirut blast in uh, the region uh, uh, of um, Carantina, it's uh, the it's uh, the place uh, nearby of uh, the explosion directly, where we have targeted also uh, uh, kids and youngsters that were traumatized after the Beirut blast, and we have worked with art therapists. We have worked also as psychosocial support activities. It was a very intense program that we uh, ended up uh, uh, with a lot of success and with a big support and help for youngsters and kids in the region. Uh, young Media creator, cre Creators, it's also one of our programs that provide youth with technical and professional training on media content, creation, advocacy, social media platform. So we uh, try to create uh, youth leaders that are able to make their own content from writing to making videos to making short films to uh, making uh, photos or editing their videos as well as uh, having their also the civic uh, uh, needed education that they need uh, for their uh, social media content in the future and it was very successful a lot of uh, our beneficiaries have created their own uh, content their own uh, social media uh, channels and they are working for the betterment of their society innovation academy program also funded by uh, pax for peace and it, it, it is it was providing use with professional skills on advanced computer english language integrated with soft skills focused on body language, debate, effective communications, email, and it was also uh, in order to build uh, a, 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 like the character of, uh, of this use and to, to enhance their skills in different areas. The Musawat project also was done with PAX in this program. As you see in the photos, uh, there were debates, there were interreligious dialogue between different uh, religions, uh, representative. Uh, there were many discussions and dialogue, and this was also one of our successful projects. Art Against Discrimination is also one of our um, uh, main projects that we started in 2000. 16, it was funded by the European Endowment for Democracy. And here we see some of the music classes in this project. Art Against Violence, also one of the projects that was funded by, by the US Embassy and targeted 300 uh, marginalized youth. Uh, the, the main idea is, was to train them on leadership, citizenship, gender equality, communication, in addition to art uh, classes so it was we were doing in this program also as most of our programs in parallel 
uh, art trainings and uh, civil training at the same time. We have done many partnerships with local and international organizations. We are the only Lebanese member in the United Network of Young Peace Builders. Uh, we have some collaboration with other uh, organization, Euromed Feminist Initiative, as you see here, also a list of uh, uh, some of uh, our collaboration. Uh, I was also speaking about climate change and its impact on migration movement. Uh, this was also at the Green, uh, the German Green Party in uh, uh, in Germany uh, during the intercultural days of uh, Dresden. And as you see here, we have also prepared uh, a, a like a team of. Uh, I would say first emergency team that uh, are able to uh, respond to uh, to many crises that can happen uh, not only inside our centers also in the community and this is also this project is still uh, like I would say in the in the first beginning and we would love all of us to uh, to make. Uh, the steam stronger and stronger. Uh, some of our murals that we have done in many uh, regions, also in Lebanon, uh, the main idea was about speak, uh, about uh, speaking about peace. Um, as you see, uh, some of those murals, or most of them, are more interactive. So, can people take photos with them? Can people come uh, in front of those murals and? take their photos and mention us and their hashtags. And also there were QR codes on those uh, murals. Uh, we have also many of them on our website, if anyone also interested to see more about uh, those murals. Uh, the ideas was done by our uh, students uh, and beneficiaries. We have made ma many exhibitions and art competitions, mainly the art competition after the uh, Beirut Blast, uh, many art competition also was uh, was um, uh, international also uh, uh, international uh, organization. We have made the social art award uh, with the Institute of Art and Innovation in Berlin uh, also, and uh, we have selected uh, some of uh, artists uh, all over the world. Uh, that are working in in uh, areas of conflicts and uh, uh, areas of uh, violence. Uh, another photo of some very important topics that is interreligious dialogue and round tables that we have done also at Peace of Art in order to um, to make this link and this bridge between uh, youngsters and citizens of. The region and Lebanese citizens or Syrian or any uh, person that is living on the Lebanese territory with uh, uh, religious uh, uh, religious representative and ask them about very critical topics like for example women rights and uh, Christianity and Islam and uh, different uh, religions so mm -hmm. this was mainly the topics also that we have working we have been working uh, and so there's again we have created an open and safe and equipped co-working space at piece of art where anyone can come can get free wi-fi can have uh, whatever they need to uh, their laptop their computer that they can also uh, work on their projects on their ideas our center is equipped with a studio to, for record uh, for recording sound recording a studio for video and photography as well as small theater uh, and a small play uh, playground also uh, for kids and for youth also uh, many entrepreneurship livelihood programs I will try to make this very fast it's almost done the presentation sorry if it was 
uh, learning, logical models, project management, and responsible leadership. Again, this is our basic ideas that we want to build uh, leaders that can really change this, this, their society from a bad situation to a better situation. Gender equality and positive masculinities through art, through uh, painting, uh, many training of trainers, TOT with local teachers that focused on educational skills and inclusivity in classrooms, especially for official teachers, so they can also learn new uh, tools and skills, especially because of the online uh, nowadays after Corona and uh, because how to use technology. This was a main topic for our training for uh, teachers in the region. Volunteers and cultural exchange programs. We also host a lot of volunteers every year from all over the world, a lot of musicians, artists, students at universities, uh, PhD researchers come to our center every year uh, in order to learn more about our uh, experience and activities. Uh, for sure, we never uh, forget about people uh, with special needs, about marginalized uh, and uh, underrepresented groups in our society and our aim in now is to prepare our uh, center to be uh, more friendly uh, uh, for this uh, uh, part of our uh, community. We gave them a lot of uh, space to express themselves, their problems, and to discuss, to communicate, to play music, to do art. And also, uh, we created a, a program, a weekly program for them at our center. Um, we have made researches on art and culture space, uh, cultural spaces and use. Uh, we have published uh, uh, a research called Hear Us Now. Uh, this, uh, this research, you can also find it on our website, on our also social media. Uh, it's uh, a, a research also speaking about uh, the importance of our uh, organization and its impact on our um, community. We have made two arts-based training toolkits and uh, with UNOC uh, and UNESCO. As you see here, one of them is with We Play for Peace and the other one is We Rise Through Art and those toolkits, they have a lot of uh, activities, a lot of uh, uh, tools that can be used by train trainers in order to achieve the best of uh, the goals of their uh, program or similar program to what we are doing. And it's also available on our website and also uh, on our social media. Another initiative that have, uh, that have been done by us, again, this is initiative also is, is uh, is totally funded by, by Peace of Art and volunteer and also with the power of our volunteer. volunteer. And this more was uh, before the Lebanese election, uh, Lebanese uh, parliament election. And it was uh, about uh, introducing candidates to the Lebanese youngsters where they can ask uh, their candidates about their projects, about their ideas, about what are uh, what they have achieved before and how they will proceed if they uh, succeed in the uh, Lebanese election. It was also a very nice project that gathered uh, and break break and have break this, uh, I would say, this uh, uh, wall between, between uh, people who are doing politics and uh, people who are, I, I would say, normal people in society. So uh, this was very important also uh, for us and for our beneficiaries. Many trainings about fake news and information disorder, focusing information and using tools to detect them. Uh, 
as I mentioned before, we are also member of uh, the United Network for Young Peace Builders, which is an international network that, that gets more than 80, uh, 80 uh, peace builders uh, organization all over the world. Uh, we started our podcast and uh, this is more about uh, uh, hosting people who are active in their uh, society, who have made a positive change in their society in order to highlight them and to hi highlight their work. We got more than 11,000 followers on our social media, many uh, international articles about piece of art. You can find them also about on our website. And this is a, a small statistic about uh, what we have done since 2016. More than 5,800 local youth particip participants, uh, 40 peace building programs, 25 locations, 30 partnerships established, 11,000 social media followers, 300 artworks created. And now we uh, we have also uh, like registered piece of art also in, uh, outside Lebanon. And we are trying also to, uh, to start our office in USA and in uh, EU. So, uh, piece of art can be working internationally. Those are our um, social media, if you would like also to support us. Thank you, and sorry for taking this time. Well, thank you so much. This was really interesting. I'm very impressed and inspired by both of you. Um, 